bookworms. So I've just been listening to Tasman Winter, who is the author of the very new book, Jemima Small vs. Universe, which uh, is available from the 11th of July in most stores, but you can get through me now. Um, it came out to organisers last Friday. So I'm putting an order through on Sunday night. If you'd like an order, I'd uh, like to uh, order yourself a copy of that, then pop me a message. If you're part of a school and would like any particular books, um, or, and like to find out how you and your school can get free books without touching your budget then pop me a message and I'll happily chat that through because to me books are such an integral part of children's life well-being and mental health growing up um, and I think a lot more time should be spent reading than on social media and this is something that has really impacted um, from listening to Tasman just now generally five to seven hours a day is what teenagers are spending on social media and a lot of things are being targeted to them like self-image and what have you so that's a lot of negativity judgment and scrutiny and criticism and everything else that's being shown to your children each day which is absolutely scary which takes me on to another part of the research she did in her book she uh did a girl's uh identified a girls attitude survey for 2018 and this survey was how um sorry put into three sections so are um children very happy with how they look so this was actually geared at girls i don't know what it is for boys i'm hoping it's more but i suspect not so seven ten to ten years Get my teeth in <laughs> seven to ten year old girls are 51 percent happy with themselves and how they look for 11 to 16 year olds 26 percent are only happy and 17 to 21 year olds 13 percent are happy i mean that in itself just speaks volumes doesn't it it really does so this book jemima small versus the universe is basically set um with a character called jemima who is overweight a letter gets sent home from school about her weight and how she needs to lose weight um this is, book is written from Jemima's perspective um, and how she doesn't want to be in her own body anymore and how these judgments and everything else that comes through the bullying um, and the mental health impact that it has on her makes her not want to actually be herself. She's very brainy, she's very smart, she's very good at maths and so on and so forth. Um, but the letter knocks her confidence so much that she just wishes that she could be someone else, which I think is such a devastating thing to, this is actually sort of, in reality, happens an awful lot. Um, this book is very relatable to boys as well. Uh, it's not gender specific, a bit like the first one she did being Miss Nobody, just because they have a pink cover, it doesn't mean that they're just for girls. In actual fact, the, the best friend of Jemima is a boy and there's lots of boys um, characters put into this book and also the previous book um, so I think it's really important to teach children growing up to respect their bodies um, and to accept and celebra celebrate exactly who they are they don't all need to look like a super fit gym bunny that is made up all the time because that isn't real life that really isn't um, and I, th I think unfortunately society and social media has such an impact um, which comes back to uh, uh, something else that she shared with us that how much growing up that children are actually faced with image um, 13 year olds the research she did was just on image that was fed to them and targeted to them on social media so although they might not be actually avidly looking for it it's been uh, put across to them in that way as well um, so that message is being drummed into children at a young age this is what you should look like this is what you must look like not celebrating the fact that it's okay to be different it's okay to be brainy it's okay to celebrate who you are um, which I think this affects so many girls and boys in life um, and I think and I really do think that Jemima reading this Jemima's book will help to reverse this thought process in children um, 
and I think the trouble is with social media and also the way that sometimes some other people, including um, parents and carers, use their language, um, it can really affect how the children feel within themselves and their appearance. Um, none of the targets or books or the university or anything that's going to be a, a positive input into children's lives going forward. Um, so I, I think looking at mental health, it's important to to have less screen time and more more books, um, which which I personally think that uh, secondary schools that are now taking that on board because obviously in primary school there's a lot more reading and then come secondary school that's taken away and now a lot more secondary schools are now putting this into place which I think is a much better thing because children learn to um, to love books again and, and have that sort of escapism from the real life but in an actual fact these books touch on so much reality that it, it's escapism in terms of helping them build their self-confidence and making them realise that if they're different, that's fine. Celebrate it. So they cover bullying, they cover low self-esteem, they cover mental health, they cover anxiety. Um, they're real life people with real life problems and that's what makes it so different from something like I read as a child, um, which was uh, like Narnia. Um, the other thing that she, which also tells me in red as well, um, which is great as an escapism, I loved it and I still do love those books. And something else that she brought up was Judy Bloom, which was an author that I read a lot of and still have all of those books as well. But that was reality of the problems that were, that we didn't get to speak about when I was growing up. So it was something that people are a lot more open about now with terms of things that are gr when you're growing up but when I was growing up it was very different in that respect um so young children really I think really need to have more of a love of books and and that side of things I think moving forwards it will help with mental health and mental health there is actually a study out there um to, to back this up that mental health can be sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've lost the word. So basically reading can really help with reducing anxiety and mental health is what I was trying to say. Um, I personally suffer with mental health and anxiety and that is my escapism. I love getting into a book. I've always been a bookworm anyway, but to me that is, it's just taking you out of real life. It's having some new time. It's, it's giving your brain time to relax and not have to think about other things. So I think, yeah, it, it, really, it does make a massive difference to me as well. And it, it helps boost me. Um, so this book also covers um, a lot of empowerment, as does Being Miss Nobody. This one is based on a girl that has mutism. So again, it covers topics of bullying. It also covers topics of mental health. And, and it, that one particularly covers death as well. But... It also, they both cover relationships with the parents and in Jemima versus Universe, her parents don't really take her seriously or listen to her. So that doesn't help with her self-confidence, but there is somebody in the book that does and who really strongly believes in her and in turn believe, makes her see that she can believe in herself. And I think that's something that's really relative, isn't it? If somebody tells you you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you believe it. If somebody tells you you're great, eventually you'll start to believe that. So I think um, this particular book would be fantastic for any nursery. I don't mean nursery at all. <laughs> I mean for any secondary school or um, later in primary school or um, or a library or anything that where there's children of secondary or upper primary um, or even mental health. So if you're part of CAMS or... Um, any school then pop me a message and I can help you get some free books and uh, that's something I'm very passionate about doing and I think literacy is is definitely something that needs to be celebrated with the young children and something that they can learn that it's okay to have mental health it's okay to have anxiety and bullies don't win so I, th I think personally this I can't wait to get my hands on Jemima versus the universe it I'm will be with me next week but as I say if you'd like to order yourself a copy then pop me a message I will be ordering on Sunday night but if you'd like any more information on either of those books then please do pop me a message and I will catch you soon have a wonderful day